among you today this evening Sema ni kuna furaha sana kupatikana katikati yenu magharibi ya leo Before we go further Sema mbele kusema tuendelee kumbele I want first of all to appreciate dad and mom Napenda kushukuru kwanza baba na mama They are very good people to us Ni watu pamoja wazuri sana kwetu And I treasure them in our heart Sema mimi na babeba ndani ya roho yangu Yeah and uh, is uh, is my counselor Asema beko ba bariki yangu Ya yeah, is my counselor he knows how to counsel me C'est un bon conseiller Beko bantu bana difarijaka sana Yeah I I love them Mimi nawapenda kabisa Mama and dad Baba na mama wish you more 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 long life Mimi nawapendelea maisha maisha marefu sana You know it's it's not easy Sema iko mwepesi sana. Haina mwepesi. Yeah, for someone to give you a, a pulpit like this which means he trust you. Sema haina kepesi mtu kupachia mbali kama anakupachia ndio tusema anakutumainia. And uh, he knows you better. Na ndio tusema anakuyua mzuri. We thank God for that. Na kwa ajili ya hiyo. We thank God for that. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hiyo. Ah, thank God again for entire leadership. Asema mimi nashukuru Mungu juu ya taifa mzima. And uh, for the entire church. God bless you. Are you happy? Let's go kuna Are you happy? Show me your happiness. 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 Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. You know David said I'm happy when he said to me let us go to the house of God. You should be happy. Ah, naona kuna furaha. Be happy in the presence of God. Njia sifa ya Mungu. Amen. Amen. And today is a great day. Asema leo iko siku tofauti. Yeah, I want to introduce the message. Asema mimi napenda kuanzisha mjumbe. And uh, it's a very powerful theme. Asema God spoke to dad at you your father. Please. It's a powerful theme. Team. Asema iku iku team kubwa. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Asema ukishina kubwa. Yeah. Hmm. When I was at my place in Zambia when I was reading, yeah, a lot of things was coming just coming coming I say wow, this this Team is very powerful. Wakati anaanza kushikia mahubiri yako nashikia kibatu wako nasemea kishina alianza kupokea bintu anasema ni kishina ya nguvu sana. Yeah. I'm telling you it's a powerful. Ni kishina kubwa. Okay. Oh, um, we are going to read the same title, the same theme they have given to us. Sema tutasoma andiko moya moya ile. Yeah. In Psalms Inakuwa mkitabu ya Zaburi Psalms 121 Psalms 121 right Psalm Yeah Are you here Yeah I'm okay <laughs> Maybe they can read for us in French in French Yeah tu batu some ebo ki France Zaburi Nous lisons nous lisons Somme 121, le verset 8, au nom de Jésus. Amen. Nous commençons à partir du verset premier. Cantique de décret. Je lève mes yeux vers le montagne, d'où me viendra le secours. Le secours me vient de l'Éternel, qui a fait les cieux et la terre. Il ne permettra point que ton pied chancelle, celui qui te garde ne sommeillera point. Voici. Il ne sommeille ni ne dort, c'est lui qui garde Israël. L'Éternel est celui qui te garde, l'Éternel est ton ombre à ta main droite. Pendant le jour, le soleil ne te frappera point, ni la lune pendant la nuit. L'Éternel te gardera de tout mal, il gardera ton âme. L'Éternel gardera ton départ et ton arrivée dès maintenant et à jamais. Amen. Amen. Okay. This is David. Asema hii inakuwa ni Daudi. It was a prayer David was praying before God. 
Daudi alikuweko naomba kwa Mungu. You know prayer is about relationship between father and son. Unachua inakuwa sawa kuatanisha katikati ya baba na mtoto. That's prayer. Ile malombi. Yes, it's relationship between father and son. Ilikuwa ni mapatano katikati ya baba na mtoto. It's not a battle. Haina bukovu. David was praying before the father. Daudi alikuwa rafiki yake ya baba. He was praying before the father. Alikuwa naomba mbele ya baba. You know prayer is not a battle. Unajua komba haina bukovu. Prayer is about relationship between father and son. Lakini malombi inakuwa ni mazungumzo katikati ya baba na mtoto. And that the father he knows what to do before the son. Na baba anajua nini kufanya mbele ya mtoto. The work of the father is there to take care about the family. Asema kazi ya Mungu ya kazi, roli ya baba ni kuchunga kizazi yake. That's the work of the father. Asema ile ndio inakuwa kazi na roli ya papa. Amen. Amen. The father is there to provide food for the family, shelter and clothes. Baba eko pale kazi yake ni kuleta watoto chakula na mavazi. A shelter, clothes and food. Asema kubaletea chakula, kubaletea na mavazi. Amen. Amen. Na nyumba fasha kuikala. Nafasi yabo nyumba pale wanastahili kuikala. Amen. That's the work of the father. Ile ndio na kwa kazi ya baba. Now David was praying. Sasa Daudi alikuwa naomba. You know. Unajua? Oh my God. A father he can't leave a son to be in danger. Asema baba asikwake na chilea batoto yake hivi bule. Awezi kuacha mtoto kuingia mudanje. Awezi kuacha batoto yake kuikala mudanje. Kasi ya baba eko pale tu kuchunga batoto. Amen. That's the work of the father. Are you happy? Are you happy? You are listening to me? Are you happy? Please pay attention, pay attention. Because today I'm just learning the foundation. Uh, I'm just learning the foundation. For you to grow up. Now follow me carefully and nicely. Na unifuate pole pole. Amen. Now the Bible says. Na Biblia nasema. In this scripture. Mui mui shapit kati. It says Psalms 121 verse 8. Inakuwa ni zaburi Psalm 21. Verse 8. It says. Inasema. The Lord shall preserve the going out and the coming in from the time from the, from the time forth and ever for every forever more. Mungu atabariki kwenda kwako na kuruzia kwako leo hata milele. Amen. Amen. Forever more. Atema milele na milele. Who is going to to protect you. Is not someone else. Is the creator of heaven and earth. Is the owner of heaven and earth. The owner who he created heaven and earth and everything on it is the one who says he's going to protect you. Mufalme wa mbingu na dunia ula riumba biote ni ula naweza kukuchunga. And if the one says he's going to protect you, your departure and your come in. Ni ula nasema, mitabariki kuwanda kwako na kuruzia kwako. It's not a, it's not a person. Aina mutu bule. Ah, it's, it's God. Ni mungu. It's not a person. Aiko mutu. It's God. Inakuwa ni mungu ya peke yake. You know, the Bible says. Na Biblia nasem. God. Mungu. Is not a man to lie. Even the son of man to repent. Through his word. Mungu aiko mutu.
mtu juu alande wala mtoto wa mtu wa tumbu hapana Bible says Na Biblia nasema God respect his word than his name Na Mungu anakuwa anaheshimia masemo yake kupitia jina lake No 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 Mungu anakuwa respect day neno lake kuliko jina yake Amen Hivi He's a respecter of the, the, the his word Ni anakuwa anaheshimia neno lake And the Bible says in his mouth There is no more fraud. He can't lie. Atina Biblia nasema mkiunwa ya Mungu hamuna bongo. Hawezi kulanda. When he says yes, no one will say no. Kama nasema ndiyo, hakuna mtu anaweza kusema hapana. When he open doors, no one will close it. Kama nafungula kuna wa kufunga. When he elevates someone, no one will pull someone down. Kama yana nyanyua, hakuna mtu anaweza kushusha. He says he will protect your departure it protect your come in Anasema tabariki kutoka kwako na kurudia kwako Oh my god Oh Mungu wa buluma Oh my god Oh Mungu wangu Listen to me church Mnisikilize kanisa This team is a powerful team Hii demo anatupatia ni demo ya nguvu You know when you understand Unajua kama unasikiliza hii maana ya demo This scriptures Unasikiliza hii mau Neno. I'm telling you you are going to leave the hands of God. Utaona mkono ya Mungu maisha yako. I'm telling you the truth. Nakwambia kweli. Before the end of this year, mbele ya hii mwaka kumalizika, you see the hands of God. Utaona mkono ya Mungu. Because God is spark. Ju Mungu anesha sema. He is spark. Anesha sema. And he can say it again. Hawezi kusema tena. He can say it again. Ana hawezi kusema tena. The problem we have in the church. Kitu kimoja tunakuwa nakio ndani ya kanisa. People are not understanding the language of God. Watu hawasikilize kusema kwa Mungu. You must be Oh my God. My God. My God. You must pay attention. You must pay attention. Unapasha kwa unapasha kufanya attention ku neno la Mungu. Sikia. Amen. Are you happy? Kuna sikia message eh? I, 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 I want you to understand the message. Mimi natafuta tu usikie hii neno la Mungu. You know I, I, I didn't came to just to play but I came to bless you. Mimi kukua tu jua kuomba bule lakini nilitembea tu nikubariki. Are you happy? Amen. Now the problem we have problem tunakuwa nayo in the church. Mkanisa Number one. Kitu kia kwanza The moment you receive Christ as a personal savior in your life Wakati unapokelea Yesu kuwa Yesu Kristo kwa mwokozi wako mmaisha yako Christ entered in you Pale pale Yesu anaingia ndani yako And that Christ dwell in you Na Yesu anakaa ndani yako Now the problem we have in the church people they don't know what they carry what they have and what Christ is still doing with them mambo tunakuwa na mkanisa ba Kristo abejijue ni kitu kani bananyangua ndani yako ni kitu kani banakuwa nacho na ni kazi kani Yesu alifanya pa msalaba kazi ile Yesu anafanya na wewe hapa sasa amen these three things ibe bitu bitatu I want you to understand. Ninatafuta ubisikilize. Church listen. Kanisa munifuate. I don't want to rush. Mishipenda kukimbilia. I want you to understand. Ninapenda usikilize. I want you to understand. Ninapenda usikilize. You know the Bible says. Na Biblia nasema. My people perish lack of knowledge. Bantu yangu banapotea kukosa kwa akili. You know Christianity is based on the knowledge of God. Munajua ukristo unaanya kukaa pa neno ya Mungu. Christianity is based on the knowledge of God. Christianity Christo buko base. Amen. Amen. Ukristo buko base. Unoledge. 
kufamu na Yesu. You must know who you are in Christ. Unapata kujijua uko nani ndani ya Yesu. What you have in Christ? Ni kitu gani unakuwa nacho ndani ya Yesu? And what Christ is still doing through you now? Na ni kazi gani Yesu anakuwa anafanya ndani yako? That's what he says. Na bado anasema I will bless your departure. Ni bado tabariki kutoka kwako. I will bless you in. Na kubariki kuingia kwako. Urudi kwako. Tuko pamoja. Amen. The promise of God is irrevocable. No one can change the word of God. Hakuna mtu anaweza kubadilisha neno la Mungu. No one can can reverse the word spoken by God over your life. Hakuna mtu anaweza kuranverse masauti ya Mungu juu ya maisha yako. Amen. He says he will protect you. Anasema mita kuprotege. So means it's not about you, it's about him. Asema hapa haiko nguvu yako ilikuwa ni nguvu yake sasa. But follow me. Manja ulipate. The kingdom of God. Ufalme wa Kimungu is full of principles. Ufalme wa Kimungu unakuwa unaongoza na ma principle. Ma principle. Sorry, sorry. As as God as God mu ali ya kimungu as God mu ali ya kimungu he has already done his work over your life kazi yake pa maisha yake anashafanya zamani he has already finished his work over your life anashafuni anashamaliza kazi yake pa maisha yako and he can do it again awasi kufanya tena ah he can do it again awasi kufanya tena but follow me follow me munifate i said the kingdom of god is full of principles mimi nasema ufalme wa kimungu unakuwa unasindikiza na principality ma prince ma commands your protection protection yako your blessings ma, ba, baraka yako is attached binakuwa the principles of god binakuwa bienye kuungana kuamri ya mungu iko attached to the principle ya mungu amen haleluya 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 sometimes people are not understanding listen that But when you God, God is not complicated. Mungu ana complicate. Hapana. Is not complicated. Mungu ana complicate. Now, I said I'm just introducing. Now, follow me. Who is God? Because he said he will protect you. Who is God? Mungu anasema mimi nitakuprotege. Mungu kwanza ni nani? In Psalms he says is the creator of heaven and earth and everything on it belong to God. Musoma anasema yeye ndio mwenyezi ule alumba mbingu na dunia na vitu vyote katika dunia binakuwa ni vyake. Including yourself. Asema na we mwenyewe. You are the property of God. Unakuwa ni instrument ya Mungu the property of god unakuwa instrument ya mungu unakuwa propriété privée ya mungu amen so means if you become oh my god private property of god so means god is there to take care about you amen kama unakuwa propriété ya Mungu unakuwa kitu kia Mungu Mungu anakuwa pale njia kukuprotege mu vyote In every danger Ati mu danger yote In every danger Mu danger yoyote It can be in the night Ikuya ya yolo It can be in the night Ikuya ya usiku ikuya usiku It can be in the, in the day Ikuya mkatikati ya jua 
kwa usiku ikuwa mchana Mungu ataendelea kukuchunga I told you who is God? Mungu ni nani? God, Mungu is our father. Ni baba yetu. Is not our mbuya. Mungu aikonka, Mungu ana ngambo hapana. Uh-uh. That's why David he had that oh my god. That confidence when he was praying. Ni baada David alikuwa na confidence wakati alikuwa naomba. Alikuwa na ile confidence. Amen. Ya kuomba, jua ni jua sema Mungu ana ngambo, Mungu ni baba. Amen. You know, when you have your father, unajua kama unakuwa na baba, is a rich. Anakuwa unakuwa na baba yako yuko rich. He has everything. Eko na bitu byote. When you are walking, wakati utakuwa natembea. Amen. You, you're going to walk with that uh, boldness on the way where you are going because you know your father is rich. Utakuwa natembea na kiburi kiote juu na yeye sababu yangu ni rich and he's there to protect me. Na alikuwa pale juu atani protege. The meaning of God means he knows all El Shaddai. Maana yake maana ya Mungu ni Mungu anajua yote. We call, we call him El Shaddai. But means he knows all. He knows where you came from. He knows where you are going to. Amen. But I'm with El Shaddai. Juni Mungu na juwa yote. Ana juwa fazu na toka na juwa fazu nenda. But listen. Even if when David Papa he was praying that 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 prayer, Amen. He knew the beginning. But he didn't know the end. But what is between beginning and end? David, he didn't know that. Na wakati David alikuwa naomba, ile maombi, alikuwa anajua paka the commencement, na ashikuiwe la fin. Jua ashikuiwe vitu vinakuwa katikati. Alijua tu the commencement et la fin. Amen. Amen. Aliyo tu mwanzo. Amen. Alijua vile mwisho kule kunaenda mwisho. Vile vilikuwa hapa katikati ya mwanzo na mwisho asikubione. Hata baba yake asikumuoneshe hivyo. Amen. Ndio pale baba ni mtu wa kupata heshima. Amen. Baba ni mtu wa kunyangula na mikono mbili. Amen. Tu baba ndio anajua destiny yako wewe. Church, are you happy? Okay. Okay. Mama, are you happy? Unafurahi au waendeleshe mimi mswahili? Ah ah. I didn't say that. <laughs> She was follow me please. Those are following us. Follow me please. Yes. Now follow me. I told you I said as God he has already done everything on his behalf. Kama Mungu ameshafanya kazi zote. Amen. But there is a things you need to do yourself as a son. Kuna kuwa vitu unaweza kufanya kama mtoto mu maisha yako. Yourself as a son. Yule kuna kuwa vitu bila unaweza kufanya kama mtoto, wewe mwenyewe ubifanye kama mtoto. Amen. Because the kingdom of God is a full of principles. But if you are not following those principles, it's not a problem of the one who told you. 
Asema kama ufate ma principi, iya iko mambo ya ula ruko arukutuma. It is your problem. Ina kuwa ni problem yako. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? Amen. Now, let us read this scripture because today I'm just introducing. Amen. Psalms 65. Psalm 65. Verse 11. Verse 11. Psalm 65. Verse 11. Nous lisons le psaume 65, le verset 11 au nom de Jésus. En arrosant ses sillons, en aplanissant ses montes, tu la, dé, tu la détrempes par des pluies, tu bénis son germe. Amen. Psaume 65, 11. 12. Tu couronnes l'année de tes biens. Oh, 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 oh. Tu couronnes l'année de tes biens. Et tes pas versent l'abondance. Amen. This is powerful. Sorry, church. Sisi, read it again. Garde ta tu sommeil atena. Nous lisons Psalm 65, 12. Tu couronnes l'année de tes biens et tes pas versent l'abondance. Amen. Amen. This is powerful. It says, the crown is the year with goodness. And the path of drop fatness. Yes. You crown your year with goodness. And the one is going to crown that year is not you. Is the owner. Is God. He says he's going to crown that. And listen, crown is not given to everybody. So it means you are special. You, you are special. You are special. You are not someone else. He says he's going to crown this year. January to December. 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 Is crowned by God. Amen, 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 amen. Mm. Is crowned by God himself. Amen. 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 The Bible says it's going to beautify the year with good things. Your path there will be overflow with as you are going. Asema na Mungu atajaza bila ane atakurone ane ina bitu bizuri kuenda kuako. There will be abundance as you are going. Kutakuwa abundance wakati uko natembea. Amen. There will be abundance. Kutakuwa abundance. On your ways. Mukuenda. Amen. Amen. On your ways. Mukuti mukuenda. On your ways. Mukutembe. As I you are going. Wakati unakuwa na tembe. Abundance is coming. Ukuenda tu. As I you are going. Wakati una tembe. Good things is following you. Bitu bizuri bina kuwa bina kuwa. January to December. Kuanzia janvier mbaka Good things will follow you. Bitu bizuri bina kuwa bina kuwa. Good things will follow you. Bitu bizuri bina kuwa. Good things will follow you. Bitu bizuri bina kuwa. Ground Taj is the IC. Taj Nakwani Kuhon. Aha. Let me give example. I want to explain. So the cre 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 
friend, what will bring value to, or to the cake? Is that what the cake? The cake for a village. Gato. Amen. Now, what will bring value to the cake? It's not a wake Kile kina lektaka valer ku gato ni bila bitu bia yulu bila bana kala kapeko na decore. Hey, listen. The, as I stand on this altar. Atema wakati na simama ku ku hotel ya Mungu. Amen. I prophesy. Mimi naanza ku prophetize. And I declare. Naanza ku declare. Over your life. Ba maisha yako. God. Mungu is going. A Mungu to beautify your life. Atatengeneza maisha yenu. It's going to be defy your life. Mungu atatengeneza maisha yako. It's going to be defy your life. Atatengeneza maisha yako. The devil like it or not. Shetani apende wala ashpende. Aha, God is going to be defy your life. Mungu yako mbingu atatengeneza. Amen. Amen. It's going to crown this year. It's already done. But there is a part to do as you. Asema Mungu atakuronea hii ane. Ne, kuna kuwa bitu na wewe unaweza kufanya. Yes. He has already done it. Mungu aneshafanya. He has already done it. Aneshafanya. That's why you are a winner. Bado unakuwa unakuwa champion. Amen. Oh, you are a winner. Uko champion. You are a winner. Uko champion. You are a winner. Uko champion. You are not a failure. Auko mtu wa kushinda. No, I say you are a winner. Unakuwa champion. You are a winner. Unakuwa champion. You are a winner. Unakuwa champion. You are not a failure. Sunga hauwezi kushinda. What's your neighbor? Angalia na vazen wako. Mwambie vazen. You are a winner. Unakuwa champion. Tell him three times. Mwambie mara tatu. Say it in English. Ah, ah. Say you are a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner. Ativa repete an English. Now, follow me. Munifuad. Church, are you happy? Amen. Are you happy? Mungu abenye kufurahi. What time will be prayer? Church, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? He says, Anasema, when he's going to crown that year, as you are going, there will be abundance. abundance. Amen. You know the meaning of abundance? The meaning of abundance means nothing missing, nothing lack, nothing broken. Iko na sinifiye, akuna kile kita kosewa, akuna kule kita itajiwa, na akuna kile kita vunjika. The devil is a liar. Shetani ni wabongo. He's a liar. Ni wabongo. Remember, remember. Kumbuka. No, unajua. I told you. Mimi nikwambie. Ah, listen. You should know who you are, what you have in Christ, and what Christ is doing through you. Asimo unapasha kujijua ni kitu gani unakuwa nacho ndani ya Yesu na kile Yesu anafanya ndani yanu. jua uko nani ndani ya Yesu ni we nani ndani ya Yesu na vile uko navyo ndani ya Yesu na vile Yesu yuko nafanya na wewe hapa ni safari
That's why the Bible says my people perish lack of knowledge. Mais pas la Bible n'a ça mais mon peuple périt manque de connaissance. Perish. By the way, it's good. Perish. Okay. Perry. Amen. Now, before we go further, before we pray. Avant que tu ombe I told you I was, I was just learning the foundation today. Eh? Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. Now, 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 Let us reason in. Let us do a Bible studies. Who are you? Tufanya mbele Bible study. Who are you? Mbele. Uko nani ndani ya Yesu? Now, if you don't know, kama ujiju, you will miss this scripture. Asema ii temu itakupita. But I don't want this this scripture huh? to you. miss to miss to pass. I want you to experience this scriptures. Experience it. Experience it. I want I want people of God to experience to experiment. To experiment is chapitre. Amen. Verse 8. Amen. Amen. That's why when you are reading the Bible, don't read the Bible like a newspaper. Uh -uh. When you are reading the Bible, God, the Father, is talking to you direct. Hapa ni Mungu mwenye kumbingu anakuwa anakuzungumzia. Is talking about your life. Mungu anaanza kuzungumzia ba maisha yako. Is talking about you. Mungu anaanza kusemezea maji. Is talking about your destiny. Mungu anaanza kusemezea jua bitu biko na kuja. Jua destiny uh, destine yako. Amen. Unatoka wapi? Where you are coming from and where you are going? Unatoka wapi na kule uko nenda? If you don't know Kama ujue, where you came from, kulo natoka, it will be very difficult to know where you are going. Kujua kulo konenda. Amen. I will explain. To go where? Kuigwenda wapi? Go where? When the wipe. Who want to go? Ninana and Penda Quenda. I'm asking. Who want to go? Ula na pe, ula, ninana and Penda Quenda. Who want to go? Qui veut partir? Are you here? Papa. Huh? You want to go? Na Penda Quenda. Are you happy? Are you happy? Amen. Now, before we pray, listen. Mbele ya kuomba siki ya kwanza. I said, Mina sem, the promise of God ati promise ya mungu is irrevocable. Ina kwa ibadilikake. Iko irrevocable. Amen. So which means no one can change it. Hakuna mtu anaweza kuibadilisha. Even hata mbingu is already spoken. Mbingu inaisha kusema. And no one can change it. Hakuna mtu anaweza kubadilisha. But the problem, problem inakuwa hapo. It's you. Ni wewe. It's you. Ni wewe. It's you. Ni wewe. I want your faith. Mina penda kukomesha imani to come out. 
Imani ya mtu mmoja ishimani. Najua da papa. Wakati mrinye muri anonse tu item. Mimi nilikuwa na furaha mkubwa. So this mimi nasema hii belong to me. Hii ni yangu. This hii belong to me. Ni baraka yangu. The devil si shetani lack it. Apende who not. Wala pe aspende. Belong to me. Hii ni yangu. This scripture item is yours. Ni tem yako. It's yours. Ni yako. Why I said this? Kwa kazi anasema. Why I said this? Juya nini nasema hivi? Let us read. Juya mimi nasema ni yako tusome. No. Let's let's go in this scripture. Tusome. Hebrews. Hebrew 9. Nef. Verse verse 16. Hebrew nef verse 16. Hébreu 9, 16, nous lisons au nom de Jésus. Car là où il y a un testament, il est nécessaire que la mort du, test, du testateur soit constatée. Ah! Hey! The devil is a liar. Shetan ni wa bongo. Ya 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 ya. Church. Tu ko apa? Tuko hapa. Church. Kanisa. Are you here? Tuko hapa. We, we want to pray. Tunataka kuomba. But listen. Ma unisiki. This is very straight. Asema angleko iko too straight. I, I, I'll read a bit, eh? Mita okay. Okay. I'll read a bit, okay? Mm. Are you happy? Amen. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Hebrews Sorry, the people of God, I love you. Do you love me? Do you love me? Munanipenda. Give the cup of fire to God. Tumpikie Mungu mikono. Listen. For where a testament, a testament is there as also of necess- necessity okay be the death of uh, the detesta ah you see for where a tes- testament is there must also a necessity be the death of the detest the detest so see in as in fie for that testament you are in a testament yes to become powerful ikwe na nguvu there must be a date of a testament ina pasha pakue ule mwe kuandika testament mwenye kufa to die akufe and I, my god the children batoto sasa they will enjoy Jo oh my god with the property but furai na ile heritage they are going to enjoy with that property asema njo batafurai na ile ma heritage they are going to enjoy with that oh my god with promises asema batafurai na ile ma promise sasa hallelujah in reality in reality hallelujah not story Apana sa isuara. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why. Ni pale. God. My name. Asema jina yao, jina yao. Your name. Jina yako. My name. Jina yako. Your name. Na jina yako. Is written in the book of a testament. Inakwenye kuandikiwa mu kitabu cha testament amen amen if they have spoken about moses at kama barko bana semea njo prosperity oh mama if they spoke about moses kama barisema juu ya moise amen they, they spoke about jo 
Joshua. But he said, Matthew and Joshua. In the book. Mukitabu. Me also. Namie. Joshua Mwamba. Joshua Mwamba. Namie Jina Yam. Ina pasha ba yanti ke ba isemeli. Your name. Na Jina Yam. Is written here. Ba isemeli. Is written. Ba isemeli. Is written. Ba isemeli. Niwa e kwanti kiwa. Jina Yako. Jina Yako. Amen. 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 Jina yako Amen. Yenye kuanjika mwile kitabu Amen. Anasema bie Ata kuproteje Kwanzia leo Baka milele Nikusema Ata mvita iku wako Amen. Vita ye itakuya Amen. Memungu ata kuproteje Biblia anasema Le zenemi Viendro Komu le zote la mer Le esprit de tiye Le sezira Badu batakuya kama maji me neno la Mungu itakuwa separe. Amen. Esprit ya Mungu. Amen. Itabasisi. Amen. Allo somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know why your name is written there? Mnajua jua nini jina yako yenyewe kuandikwa? Because Christ. Juu Yesu he died. Ana alikufa on your behalf. Yesu alikufa pafashi yako. He died. Yesu alikufa on my behalf. Pafashi yangu. That's why. Jo pale. You. Weye. You can't die. Asema weye. You, you, you can't die. Weye awezi kufa. You live. Utaika. You live. Utaika. You live. Uta vivre. You live. Uta vivre. You live. Uta vivre. I prophesy. Mina anza kuprophetize. And I declare. You can't die before your time. You can't die before your time. You live longer. David said, you can't, I can't die before my time. Until I'll proclaim the name of God. Upaka nitangaza neno la Mungu. You also. Na wewe. You can die. Hawezi kufa. And you. Mpaka. You proclaim the name of God. Utangaze neno la Mungu. I want you. Mimi natafuta. To understand. Wewe usikilize. These things. Usikilize hii them. Because God. Jo Mungu. He has already spoken. Mungu anayesema. Because of the That's why you are here. That's why you are here. Jo pale uko hapa na leo. Mungu angani na kuchunga. Sasa zingine tunaekala tunakuwa najiuliza. Kwanza chuo kujiuliza kwa hapa maisha yako. Chuo nini ni ngani mheshima? Mungu anakuwa anakuprotegee, njua anakuwa anaproje. Hawezi kuisha hawezi kuishi maisha ya shipo beats. Tunapenda kuomba. Why purpose? Purpose is a spiritual engine for life. Juu ya nini kuwa na beat? Beat ile inakuwa ni esprit moya ile inakusaidia kwenda kumbele. Can you translate that? Te Maisha yako, kwenda kumbele. 
beat inakuwa ni motel ya maisha yako. Hawezi kuishi tu maisha ya shipo beat. That's why God is protecting you. Sio pale Mungu wako anaendelea kukuprotege. So and is protecting you for his purpose. Mungu anakuwa anakuprotege juu ya beat mweko nayo juu yako. Akuwa na kuprotege wewe juu ya beat yake. Juu ya interest yake Mungu. So, God is trying to protect that. It's not it's not easy. Mungu ana kuprotege kintu wewe, ana kuprotege mtu kama hakuna interest. Hakuna interest yake. Hakuna interest yake. Ah ah. Atakuacha tu. Uyu. Amen. Amen. So, Mungu ekuwa kuchunga juu angalia na cash na wengi. Amen. Aile na cash. Sema cash. Amen. Tu. Acha kwa hiyo. Kaisha wewe. Hapa. Revera. Unajua kama mtu ana kaji ana na valeur ngale ya Mungu lakini kitaleta valeur kwa Mungu ni kaji hata mkimwili kama mtu ana kaji hakutakuwa valeur eh kama mtu anakuwa na kaji ile kaji italeta valeur hakuna kota tenda kutakuwa heshima hata mpatia tu ile kaji kama Mungu angalia na kuchunga angalia kuchunga Yesu alisema nikusema amen anaona interest yake ndani yako tu arezo ha so kama kuna interest hapa kwa hiyo kitu hapa hata hata mimi pia kaombea kama una kazi yako kama una cash na tumkola paka hivi na riba leta toto kama una cash hebu semea kesho mbariki are you happy ah can you stand can you stand can you stand Church. Ah. 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 Ah.